Most sturgeon spears like to scout during the daylight hours. 35-year-old Jason Brock from Hortonville uses a different approach. Doing a little nighttime scouting. We get the lights down on the bottom. We're in uh, Calumetville. We, uh, we found good water clarity down here. We found good worms. There's also shad swimming through here once in a while. Um, sturgeon eat worms, sturgeon eat shad, and with the water clarity, if you can't, if you can't see them, you can't spear them. The DNR does not outlaw night scouting with lights under the surface as long as the spearers follow ice hole restrictions 48 hours from opening day. Brock got the idea to start night scouting after the DNR ended its night sturgeon spearing in 2002. At night, you can still see, you can see well, in fact, better sometimes than you can during the day with the uh, the murkiness of the water. So you just come out, put your time, and hopefully you see some fish. The nighttime scouting has paid off for Brock in previous spearing seasons, and the concept has caught on with his friends. It's pretty cool. It's, you see a lot, a lot of stuff. I mean, it's unique, definitely unique. There's a lot of minnows swimming through the hole, and we can definitely tell the water's pretty clear. So I mean, you look down at the lights right now, and all the everything that's attracted to the lights. Um, you know, it, it's all a food chain down there. Unfortunately for Brock and his friends. The nighttime scouting session ended with zero sturgeon being spotted. Martin Ross, Fox 11 Sports.